The following are the rules of procedure through which you may form the habits you desire. First, at the beginning of the formation of a new habit, put force and enthusiasm into your expression. Feel what you think. Remember that you are taking the first steps toward making the new mental path, that it is much harder at first than it will be afterwards. Make the path as clear and deep as you can at the beginning so that you can readily see it the next time you wish to follow it. Second, Keep your attention firmly concentrated on the new path building and keep your mind away from the old paths, lest you incline toward them. Forget all about the old paths and concern yourself only with the new ones that you are building to order. Third, travel over your newly made paths as often as possible. Make opportunities for doing so without waiting for them to arise through luck or chance. The oftener you go over the new paths, the sooner they will become well-worn and easily traveled. Create plans for passing over these new habit paths at the very start. Fourth, resist the temptation to travel over the older, easier paths that you have been using in the past. Every time you resist a temptation, the stronger do you become, and the easier it will be for you to do so the next time. But every time you yield to the temptation, the easier does it become to yield again, and the more difficult it becomes to resist the next time. You will have a fight on at the start, and this is the critical time. Prove your determination, persistency, and willpower now, at the very beginning. Fifth, be sure that you have mapped out the right path, as your definite chief aim, and then go ahead without fear and without allowing yourself to doubt. Place your hand upon the plow and look not backward. Select your goal, then make good, deep, wide mental paths leading straight to it. As you have already observed, there is a close relationship between habit and auto-suggestion, self-suggestion. Through habit, an act repeatedly performed in the same manner has a tendency to become permanent, and eventually we come to perform the act automatically or unconsciously. In playing a piano, for example, the artist can play a familiar piece while his or her conscious mind is on some other subject. Auto-suggestion is the tool with which we dig a mental path. Concentration is the hand that holds that tool. And habit is the map or blueprint which the mental path follows. An idea or desire to be transformed into terms of action or physical reality must be held in the conscious mind faithfully and persistently until habit begins to give it permanent form.